hi everyone first and foremost i just want to say thank you for watching this video and i just created this channel because i want to share what my experience is like in the trucking industry itself and also as a female trucker because my name is christiana and i appreciate y'all for coming to watch this video so a little bit about me is that i am originally from virginia in the hampton road 757 area and i currently live in jacksonville north carolina i have been here for about two years so currently i am at a training facility in charlotte north carolina i won't particularly say which one i'm at currently but i will be soon pretty soon creating some social media pages where y'all can follow me uh subscribe to me at me as your friend and i will accept private messages from y'all if y'all want to know about the company that i'm at more about me and the things that i have been through or your questions about the trucking industry itself but a little bit of background about me when i got my cdls i got my cdls back in 2019 yeah i know that was a couple years ago but um when i had got mine in 2019 i was 20 at the time and when you get your uh, commercial driver's license under the age of 21, you get a K restriction on your license, which basically means you cannot drive a commercial vehicle outside of that state that you know your license is issued in. And plus, when I got mine, I was 20 at the time, and a lot of trucking companies want you to be at least 21, 22, and above. So you know, I had my license, but was not able to go and work in the trucking industry so i had to maintain what i was doing at the current moment which i was currently working in the medical field at the time as a nursing assistant and when i had went to school and um, i went to school in norfolk virginia it was called ati it was a really good trucking school you spend one month in the classroom and then you spend one month out on the road or you know training out on the yard learning how to do your backing your offsets your pre-trip which is the main thing that they go always drill into your head because that's like one of the main things i was like terrified the most on when i was doing my uh, dmv test trying to get uh my license but thankfully how great the school was i did pass on the first try don't knock yourself if you don't pass on the first try at all um before i had came into trucking i was a nursing assistant and it took me three tries before i finally got my uh certified nursing assistant license so do not knock yourself at all if you do not pass your trucking on your first try no matter if it was from pre-trip backing on your on the road test just get up dust yourself off work on what you got to work on and get right back out there because at the end of the day y'all are still needed out here in this field because there's still a complete shortage of how many of us they need out here because at the end of the day truckers is what moved the world right now so anyways um when i had got my license i had to stay like a little bit in the medical field for some time and i had decided to come out for the first time in 2021, I ended up coming to the same company that I'm currently at right now. And I made it through orientation completely for the two weeks and then the one week out with my recruiter, but I couldn't uh, stay in the trucking field. Unfortunately, life had other plans for me at the time and things, so I was like, okay. So I had to stop um, trucking and then go back to what I was uh, originally doing for the time being. But I kept always telling myself, you know, I wanted to come back out and get back out in the trucking field and things. And, you know, it's finally a situation uh, where I was able to. Because right now, I, I got out here yesterday. I came to Charlotte yesterday because your uh, my company gave me a rental car. Even though it was a Toyota Prius. I'm not hating on Toyota Prius. It's just if you don't know how to drive a hybrid, you go through some things when you get the car. Because when I first picked up the car it was it made you know the starting noise that cars you know generally make and then i had drove it two hours from jacksonville i was in like raleigh durham area when i had stopped and then i kept pushing the button to cut the car on it wasn't making any noise and i had to call my best friend i was like what's wrong with the car he was like you know if it says ready then it's ready i'm like man so i had a slow moment with a hybrid so y'all hybrid drivers y'all got it because i did not understand the car at all and you know i'm used to hearing my car starting to it's working and things y'all so let me embarrass myself a bit but first and foremost i can't say 
with trucking it's it's a fun field but you got to really know what you're trying to get yourself into out here and one thing i can really tell y'all which i did have a bit of a hard time with my current company is if when you're talking to your recruiter ask your recruiter every single thing that you can think of at that time being because your recruiter will say to you yeah reach out call me anytime you ever have any questions and i will call my recruiter on monday and I ain't hearing nothing back from like until like thursday or friday so when you like talking to your recruiter you better ask them every single thing that you can because you don't even know when you're going to hear from them again you know they're they're quick to call you once you put in your application and like a few days before your orientation to make sure you know you good to go and things like that but if you're trying to call them it takes so long to hear back from that you know i know i understand i'm very busy they're trying to you know get people recruited into the company but you know you still gotta talk to the people who you and i already talked to who's already told you that they want to come and things like that so just be mindful about when you are talking to your recruiter and you know asking every single thing that you can in that few minute time span that they are trying to talk to you and trying to get you to their company and trying to sell their company to you because right now the uh, uh the position i applied for is i will be regional I'm coming home every other weekend and I will be in the central eastern 24 states. I'm pretty much not going past the Mississippi River on that side. I'm doing every state except for New York. No hate on New York. I grew up there. My summer is coming up, but them roads in New York and them people in New York is something crazy and things like that. But this is the account that I chose because I want to come home every other weekend. I, I really want to come home every weekend, but when you don't have a lot of experience, it's kind of hard to find something like that unless you want to be uh, like flatbed and things like that but i ain't really want to do flatbed because i ain't have a lot of experience or pretty much just one month of experience but right now with the company that i'm at our training is two weeks on the yard with your um training instructor who you have and then you will go out if they feel comfortable with you going out after those two weeks normally your two weeks is from monday to friday then monday to friday we have the weekends off so once you test out thursday or friday if you feel comfortable if the um, trainers at the yard feel comfortable then you'll be assigned your your uh, over the road training which you only be with them and another person for just one week and then you go home for a few days and then you will get your truck that is assigned to you so right now i just got here yesterday and today was my first day of orientation as you most most of you know when you come to any job your first time at a job you're just pretty much doing paperwork courses you know safety and things like that about um make sure you're not you're not falling asleep you know you make sure you're tired well rested about the company and a little bit of their background and things and today what was different from last time i originally came in 2021 um we had learned to properly open and close trailers getting in and out of the um trucks with the three-point uh, connections and getting in and out of the trailers with the three-point connections. So tomorrow, they said that's when we will be on the yard fully for the next two weeks. You know, your pre-trip, your back-ends, and being out on the road starting tomorrow and things. So, but this is just a br little bit of brief um, introduction about a little bit about me and the company that I'm at. Like I said before, I will be posting uh, my social media account soon. So if you have any questions or anything about me or the industry itself, I'll be more than glad to help y'all and help y'all know what to look for when they come out of trucking companies and anything in between them. But so far, I will be posting videos probably once a week and things like that. Talk about um, what I'm experiencing, how the company is going for me, and a little bit of what I plan on doing in the future. But thank you guys again for watching this video. Subscribe, like, and comment, and on those notifications so you can see when I'm posting. And I will keep y'all updated with things. Bye, everybody.